Hello, welcome to DIY Machines, where we're building this, our 3D printable Arduino powered robotic bartender. In part one of this project, we step through how to build the physical assembly as you can see here. If you missed it, please watch that video. But for now, let's get right on into wiring up the electronics. First, we'll attach this, our RGB LED. Chase the LED cables as they pass through the table and bring them on top. We'll test the LED first. Our LED has four legs on it, to which we have soldered four different colored wires. We'll work out now which wire is connected to what. To do that, we'll want our Arduino Uno, a small breadboard, three 270 ohms resistors, and four short wires. If you prefer them, you'll find links to circuit diagrams in the description below. Now that we've connected the 5 volts, we can take the ground wire from the bunch of wires coming from the LED and connect that to the Arduino. My ground wire is yellow. Now we can work through the other wires connected to our LED and figure out which LEDs they are connected to. Great news, the LED works. I'll take a note that my purple wire connects to my red light. The orange wire is connected to the blue light. And the red wire is connected to the green light. Now that we know what goes where, we can begin soldering together our connections. I've used four lengths of wire that match the various coloured wires attached to the LED. Solder your ground one on first. The wire for your blue LED connects to digital 10. The matching wire for the red LED to digital number 9. And finally, the matching wire for the green LED to analogue number 1. This is on the other side of the board and is the fifth one in from the edge. Now we'll work on the contact switch. The top wire, yellow in my case, is going to be connected to a 10 kilo ohms resistor and then ground. The middle one will be connected to 5 volts and then the bottom one will be connected to digital pin number 2 on the Arduino. To do this, we'll need two more short pieces of wire. Solder the first one onto digital pin number 2 on the same motor board we were soldering onto earlier. The second wire needs to be soldered onto a 5 volt connection. We can solder it here, but we're best poking the wire through and soldering it from the other side. Your motor board should look like this. Now let's put the rest of the resistors onto our breadboard. Now add the wires going to your green, blue and red LEDs, followed by the ground wire. Now we'll need a 10 kilo ohms resistor for the contact switch. Connect this to the wire that goes to the top of our switch. Then the wire from the bottom of the switch and then the wire from the middle of our switch. I've peeled off the self-adhesive backing off my breadboard and attached it here. You can use soft melt glue if you don't have a self-adhesive back. We will use this to hold our Arduino in place. Now we can connect our motor shield onto the Arduino. The first thing we'll do is match up the wires for the LED. In my case they're matching colours, so take the wires from digital 9, digital 10, analogue 1 and ground and match them to their equivalent colours on the breadboard. Connect the 5 volts to the centre wire on the contact switch. 
Digital pin number 2 is then connected to the bottom wire on the switch and an additional wire is used to connect the 10 kilo ohms resistor to the ground that's already on our breadboard. Now we can plug the Arduino into our PC with a USB cable. We'll run some code to test both the LEDs and the contact switch. You can find a link to code you can run in the description. Run the LED test code and you should find your LED cycles between several colours. If yours does not or has gaps in the colour cycle, check your work so far. Next, open the contact switch test script. We'll open the serial monitor for this and then upload the script. Now each time you press the contact switch, you should see an entry pop up in the serial monitor here. If you don't find this happens with yours, go back and check your work with the contact switch so far. Let's connect the motors now. Find the wire going to the motor that drives the X axis. That's the one that goes side to side. Fix this wire in place close to the end of your motor shield that's nearest to the USB port on the Arduino. I've glued mine to the edge of the table. Now we'll turn our attention to the two motors that are in the paddle that move side to side. I've turned my table onto its side so that I can get to these two cables easily. Now connect these four wires to the other side of the motor shield. Before we connect a power supply to the motor shield, you want to remove this jumper. This breaks the power connection between the motor shield and the Arduino as we will be supplying our own power. When you're not using the bar tender, it's a good idea to leave one of the batteries disconnected. Now things get more interesting. Load the code below, test 1. The paddle will spring into life with a red coloured LED and move along to the contact switch. Once it's located itself, the LED will change colour and then the paddle will rise and fall, like what's happening now. This is it, pretending it's dispensing a drink from an optic. It will then move along again and dispense from another imaginary optic. If yours is behaving as mine is, then great, we'll continue. If not, go back again and check your work so far, or leave a comment below if you'd like some more help. A common problem that you might encounter is the paddle falling before it rises, instead of going up and then down. This is easily resolved. Just scroll down through the script as I am, and change these two parts where it says forward and backward to saying backward and then forward. Remember to type it in capitals and there are four places that you'll need to change it. I hope you've managed to follow along this video. If you've had any problems please comment below and I'll do the best I can to help you out. In the next video we'll cover the assembly of the back bar and optics as you can see here. So that you don't miss the next video please subscribe. If you think you know someone else would be interested in this please share the video with them. Ciao for now.